You can find gold and other precious metals in various forms with a scorpion. That's what it was primarily designed for. You will most likely be searching for nuggets, however, as Mr. Garrett is demonstrating here in the tailings from an old gold mine. Look, he's just found a beautiful galena specimen with heavy silver content. But conductive metals can also be found as load or hard rock deposits in a vein, usually mixed with other minerals. The scorpion can be used to locate placer deposits in streams or in dry sand with such gold then recovered by panning. You'll want to use Garrett's gold pan kit that offers everything you need for panning. Whenever you're hunting for gold, you must locate and carefully inspect any target your detector locates. Like so many pros, Mr. Garrett is shown here using a Garrett gold pan to help him. It's only in this manner that you can be successful in using a metal detector to discover precious metal nuggets and ores. Furthermore, when you're hunting with a metal detector, you should always wear headphones no matter what your target. You'll hear all sounds more clearly and even hear more of them. We want to emphasize again, however, that your scorpion should be operated only in the deep-seeking all-metal mode and very precisely ground balanced if gold is to be found. It simply won't respond as well to tiny nuggets in motion discrimination as it will in the deep seeking all metal mode. Hot rocks are a problem for any gold hunter, whether veteran electronic prospector or weekend adventurer. A hot rock can be described as a concentration of iron mineral that causes a detector to recognize it as metal when the instrument is operating in the deep-seeking all-metal mode. When you suspect that you have a signal from a hot rock, locate the target precisely by pinpointing. Then, move your search coil away and move the mode toggle switch to TR Discriminate with your discrimination control set at zero. Now, scan the target again, trying to keep the exact same distance from the ground. If the sound decreases or becomes silent, your target is a hot rock. When this happens, ignore the target, switch the master control back to all metal, press the retune button, and continue searching. If the signal does not stop or decrease in the TR discriminate mode, you should investigate this target more closely and identify the metal causing your audio to increase. Hard work, patience, and research are three of the keys to success in electronic prospecting. Research is important because it is vital that gold always be sought in areas where it is known to exist. Hard work and patience are your responsibility. The Garrett Scorpion Gold Stinger, with its famed Groundhog Circuit, has proved itself around the world. The rest is up to you.